Hey there. So I am going to show you how you can make your own, um, whether it's for comic strips or manga, your different cells to put your artwork in. So first off, let's see if you want your setting uh, to be either uh, horizontal, your page orientation. Do you want it uh, horizontal or vertical, landscape or portrait? Let's say we do it landscape. Now, inserting uh, shapes. So we're going to go over here to insert and drawing. Okay, we're going to hit new. So over here, look, there is our shapes. So I'm going to hit some shapes. Now look at this. So you've got your normal everyday kind of shapes and then you got some fun ones. But remember also in some of the other stories where you have like the explosions or the thought bubbles, right? So we can add those in as well. So let's start with just some simple shapes, okay? So we're going to draw in, let's see, let's make ourselves a nice big rectangle. Now, here also, okay, see how the background is blue? We probably don't want that. You probably want it transparent. So I'm going to click transparent. And then right now the outline, the border for your box. You can make it a color. Typically, it'll be black, but, you know, I can be wrong. How thick you want it, uh, that is on this one. So, you know, if you want it super duper thick, that's a bit much. To just, I want it thick enough to separate. You can also do some of these other styles, okay? So that's something to play with. All right, so we've got that one. Now let's insert another one. Now say we want to do something different. Um... Maybe it's going to be wider, has some kind of interesting shape to it. So remember, let's get rid of the color, go to transparent, so that way you can insert your artwork into it. Um, let's see. You know, maybe I've got something interesting there. Let's make the, the thickness. I forget. Ooh, that's too much. Um, that's three. Uh, and get that done. Okay, so that's done. Now, some of these call outs. Like maybe I've got some interesting thought bubble that's going to, oh, no, let's do an explosion. An explosion. Where's, there's the explosion. Okay. Boom. Explosion. Let's move that over here. You know, we can make it big. Um, I don't know if we can erase that part, but we'll figure that out in just a minute. Um, you know, you can move that however you want. Remember, you can change the... Uh, how thick that is for your your outline that's kind of cool okay and overlay that onto your artwork so uh, let's get another shape now I saw some shapes kind of like this one let's see if we can move up you know where there were some intermittent kind of odd shapes here and there and that's too thick, so let me make that back to where the other ones are. Uh, and they're usually kind of close together. And I think, if I'm correct, the manga, you read from right to left instead of left to right like we normally read in English. Because those are done in Japanese. Um, and that's the way they read is right to left instead of left to right like we do in English. So, you do that, you make whatever you want to, and then you save and close. Ta-da! Now, can we move these? Nope, it's a whole thing. So we can edit. That's cool. So if you need to edit this, you know, okay, I don't want that there, I want it down here, we can move it. Okay? So that is one way that you can use your simple Google Docs uh, to create your manga squares. You know, if we need to, if you're like, I need more space. Then you can adjust. See over here are your, your lines, your rulers. So if I grab this guy and string him all the way over there and grab this one. See when I get the little black arrow? You can pull that over. Usually when I make any kind of document, I make it as humongous as I can. Can we make this bigger? Ooh, you can stretch it. So that's, that's cool. Let's make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. Yeah. So, we can stretch that puppy. Look at that. 
So that's a good thing to know. You know, if you need to make something different. I know that they've had some where you have a humongous panel and then you have some smaller panels, but you always read in manga right to left, right to left. Okay? So, and then, you know, title your document. You know, if you want to make certain pages, make your pages and then you can print them out. You know, and you can always put in these little thought bubbles or the big lamb or whatever later and just make your cells that you need for each of your pictures. Okay? Alrighty. I hope this helps you out. Um, and if you need any more information, give me a holler.